What's going on, guys? So on this Double October review, we're going to be taking a look at this thing that Joe Guns sent me. <laughs> if you guys recall, a while back I did an unboxing, or a uh, kind of in the kitchen, where Joey sent me some stuff in a box, and he sent me this uh, SD Gundam EX Standard Gundam Exia. If you guys don't know, the SDEX line was a newer a newer line for SDs that were uh, slightly different proportions and well supposedly they were supposed to have gimmicks to help them like give extra weapons for other bigger Gundams and stuff like that they're just not good <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about it and he actually sent it to me uh, pretty much built but no stickers no details no nothing so he's like here finish this is basically what he did to me Oh, God. Now, I've only had only one other SDEX standard, and I got that one uh, for free. I won it from Dan the Plastic Man way back when, and it was a uh, Wing Zero, and it sucked. I ended up giving it to a friend of mine to give to his son who was interested in the model kit. So, um, yeah. So, I'm, clearly, I'm not happy about this one. <laughs> it's like, but here you go. There's the box art. Nice CG kind of rendering there of X Ega Gundam Double O at the bottom, SD Gundam EX Standard there, Gunpla Bandai Bandai 2015. I mean, it's not bad box art. It's actually imitating the HG box. <clears throat> so it's got him like with the stabbiness. So I like it when the SD stuff does that. I think the cross silhouettes uh, do that occasionally, or the BB Cinches, but the EX Standards they are just what they are. So we come over to this side, and you got him here, um, punching. I'm not entirely certain what he's doing there. You got action, sort of, and then option, and then that. So this is what I was kind of meaning. Like, you can build this, like, crazy weapon out of the different parts of it and slap it onto a regular Gundam. So that's an HG uh, strike there. Just It's like the, the bigger part of this thing was really just to make gimmicky stuff for other kits. Come to this side, and you've got Bandai Hobbit on there in the repeat of the box art. I will say the best part about this is how small the box is. And then this side, you've got Gundam Exia, obligatory rear and front shot. This is 003. Does that mean it was the third, the third EX standard kit? That's odd. I guess it was. All right, so you got product material, PSPE, little guy with the toilet. You got little three-year-olds. Three-year-olds probably shouldn't mess with this, even though it is a very small kit 600 yen so about six bucks you could probably get them for even cheaper realistically but <sighs> i'm just not a not not a fan crappy little gundam still upside down <laughs> you know guys i don't generally like to crap on on gundam kits but this one uh yeah i'm, I'm just gonna need some toilet paper for so let's get to it i probably won't even do much in the way of an advertisement here for this so yeah all right, so here is the stupid little SD Gundam EX standard. I'm gonna just run it on the turntable. The funny part is that normally I would have this pan up and down across the actual kit, but uh, in this case it's so small I can pretty much keep it all on screen at the same time. Um, uh, clearly the builds for these are super simple. I've been building SDs for a long time, usually out of the BB Cinchy line, and then very recently the Cross Silhouette SDs. Which are all fantastic. This is not. It has a lot of similarity to the BB Senshi line in the way that the joints and stuff like that uh, come together and then things like that. But otherwise, the quality is way down. It is massively sticker heavy. Which, this one was literally about as straight a build as I could get. I mean, mind you, he sent it to me mostly complete. Like, it was assembled for the most part, but then I had to strip it down to apply all the stickers. And good lord, this thing is a giant sticker magnet, and I hate it. Okay, so <laughs> there's an obvious problem with doing SDs. Uh, they're so small, they're kind of hard to get on camera. Like, I can't really lower my camera too much more. Um, I'm going to strip him of weapons. So we're going to do the opposite of what we normally do, pull off all the weapons and stuff. Because I, I needed them together for... Uh, for the uh, thumbnails and stuff like that, so... I had to make sure you had all the things. Now, at least as a representation of Exia, it is fairly accurate. You know, you got the mostly blue body and shoulders and all that stuff. 
and as SDs go, you know, you got the normal eyes back in there, and at least they gave you stickers for the cheek vents, where the HGs don't even bother. Big old camera sticker there in the head, big old stickers here on the side of the head for the crystal part, and then big old silvery gray sticker there, same thing for the back of the head. <sighs> I didn't bother panel lining anything back here, because... I think it was like laying on its back and I forgot to do it entirely, but the GN drive is there. Now I've come down to the chest or the neck, I should say right there. You've actually got a big sticker just to make that neck look gray. It is just a double joint poly cap. So you can turkey neck. It does rotate. It does because of dog look like that. And then you got the arms that butterfly out where I said they're a little similar to like the BB Senshi line. So you still get that. And arms rotate. Watch out for the fake beam sabers. They're in the way there. Not a whole lot of articulation. Otherwise, you're not going to get much of a high teacher. You're just going to get more of a rubber fist. That's fine. But like I was saying about the chest. These terrible stickers right there to be like the front of the little antenna thingies that aren't even there. That's terrible. Now, I don't mind the wraparound stickers for the chest vents. That's fine. There's other ones that do that. So... And then you got the green back in there. And I mind you, this is all one piece. You have to kind of cram all this stuff in there. And then you got the white part there. That's a sticker. And you got the, oh, actually the white and the silverish grayish part there are all one sticker. You got to fold it all around there. That sucks. And the red, also stickers, which I had to figure out the right way to orient. Then uh, you got this sticker here on the crotch. And then you got these stickers here on the it skirts. I didn't actually panel line any of that. I realized I didn't panel line anything but like the blue and the head. Wow, okay, I got real easy with this. I got, it's like, that's how angry I was about it. Okay, I wasn't angry. I was just frustrated because it's a dumb, dumb kit. I appreciate Joey sending it to me, like, as a goof, kind of. And he knew that I was going to be doing Double October, so I guess that's why he did it. And then you got these gray parts here that are for, like, the pl arm plugs. Uh, he does rotate at the waist. It is just a polycap ball joint, so, you know, you, that's pretty much what you get. Legs. Polycap ball joints, so get you there. Can't really kick much of anything. You don't have any knee articulation. You have some not so good stickers here on the side. And you've got a ball joint swivel thing here for the feet. And you've got, dear lord, some of the worst stickers I've ever seen for feet. So this part, this one came out okay. This was the first one. That's the screw up one. You can see it's very misaligned and all nasty and stupid. I don't like it. So. There's all that mess back there. I like the molded in beam savers. That looks fine. Now talk talk about weaponry. So he comes with his GN swords. The little ones. So I did uh, panel line those. You got the big one. You got the little one. And due to the weird combination thing they do later for the weapons, you've got a big old plug there. And you got just a little bitty tab. There he can hold it. Or them, whichever way you want to say it. So you can hold it. Actually, that one has a tab too. Um, and then, just as we saw already in previous footage, it will just sort of clip in like that on the fixed little skirts. I guess if you really wanted to be kind of accurate, you could just paint those gray and leave the end of it out. See, here's the problem is that that big thingy there really hinders putting this anywhere i had it on there so i'm gonna have to add, to add these backwards then because it won't fit that way so this one's got to go like here something like that i probably have those wrong like i don't know it's one of those things that, there we go so it should tuck down like that that's the good way to do it it's annoying it's very annoying and joey sent me this okay so there's his weapons all finagled and in place you got shield of course the blue parts are wrap around instead of like the hg which is the exact opposite which this makes more sense to me than what the hg does and uh, just plug into the forearm and of course you have his sword gun shield which is all stickers so blue is fine white sticker grayish silver stickers Gray silver stickers there for the blade. And which way am I holding it? Okay, so for this mode, you use that handle and he's in, you know, sword mode. That sword mode. No, it's in gun mode. 
And then if you want to have it in upright sword mode, you can do that by a very simple switching of the pegs. And now he's in upright sword mode. Which I, st I still say is just kind of dumb. I know he does it. I've just never been a fan of it. So let's fold this guy back up this way and put that back in his hand. Come on. There we go. And we'll stand him right there and we'll do a quick comparison with the only other real Exia I've got standing around. So there's that one. One of these days, I, by the end of this, I need to pull out... It's hard to pull out the PG, but, you know... I've got all these Exias this year. <laughs> I haven't really done anything with them. So maybe by the end, I'll do a picture of my Exias together. But there he is compared to the R2, which, you know, is what it is. So, and for other comparison... I don't know where Wally is. <laughs> Wally got lost. He's somewhere. It don't matter that much. But basically, guys, um, I'm, I'm just not a big fan of this thing. So basically, guys, um, it, it's an okay little kit. It's super cheap. Um, and, of course, Joey sent it to me because he didn't know what to do with it. But I'm not a fan of it. it it's fine for kids. It would be a good starter kit, by all means. I, these are usually fun. In that manner, I did not have fun with this. <laughs> and technically speaking, this was the very first build, quote-unquote, of this Double October. I knocked it out first, and then I started doing some other stuff. But, because this thing sucks so bad, I had to go out and get something else. Because, frankly, this is garbage, and I hate it. So next time, we're looking at this. <laughs> But I'll see you guys on the next review. Make sure you go check out the Patreon, check out the Double October merch, all the stuff like that. And we will be back with another SD review tomorrow. Remember, as always, to keep on building. This one, not that one. This one.